नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स हैंडलिंग एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ व्हीकल्स प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल पर्टिकुलरली इन प्रेजेंट टाइम्स इफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैंडल्स ए फ्लीट ऑफ व्हीकल्स इट बिकम्स एसेंशियल दैट दीज आर हैंडल्ड एंड मेंटेन्ड एफिशियंटली दिस ऑल्सो एनहांसेज प्रॉफिट्स ट्रैकिंग व्हीकल्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स significantly towards it advancement in electronics has come up with a number of communication techniques using these techniques has made possible tracking of vehicle during its trip for an organization tracking of vehicles is becoming more and more relevant with increase in number of vehicles vehicle tracking system it is used to locate vehicle it may be used for a single vehicle but it is more relevant for a fleet of vehicles it helps to locate individual vehicle in a fleet and is commonly used by public transport authorities to locate a vehicle global positioning system or gps is used other than gps specific softwares are available to locate a vehicle vehicle tracking is active vehicle tracking and passive vehicle tracking in active vehicle tracking information about location of vehicle is collected in near real time through cellular or satellite network data so collected is fed to a computer and evaluated in passive vehicle tracking a device is attached to vehicle before trip after trip is completed device is removed data collected is fed to a computer and evaluated there are systems that combine active and passive tracking these enable tracking of calls texts and provide wider range of data that helps in more accurate evaluation main components of gps based tracking system are gps tracking unit server and user interface gps tracking unit this is a device that is attached to vehicle it collects and transmits information about vehicle location at regular intervals in addition to location data about fuel tire pressure turning off and on ignition and even opening and closing of door is collected it helps in improving performance of an individual vehicle and fleet both server it receives data from tracking unit data is stored and provided as and when needed user interface it enables user to access data and other information collected computer analyzes data and inferences are drawn in a passenger bus route number and destination is displayed on a panel announcement can also be made for differently abled persons real time information about waiting time can also be provided to passengers it can also prevent vehicle theft it helps in retrieval of lost vehicles other topic that is included in this lecture is controlling air pollution due to vehicles as it relates to health of every living being it has become very important air pollution and control air we breathe in provides us life it is true for other living beings also obviously air we breathe in must be clean unfortunately 
in recent past we have lost clean air it is due to pollutants added burning fossil fuel results in emission of pollutants vehicles to contribute towards air pollution and that too in a big way waste gases emitted from engine contain these pollutants this deprives us from clean air emission from engine has following harmful constituents that pollute air hydrocarbons hc carbon monoxide co oxides of nitrogen nox and particulate material hydrocarbons hc as flame propagates through combustion chamber it comes in contact with chamber wall chamber wall is relatively at low temperature this produces unburnt hydrocarbons hydrocarbons thus produced are minimum if fuel air mixture is stoichiometrically correct too lean or too rich mixture may produce more unburnt hydrocarbons carbon monoxide co it is emitted as product of combustion it is produced if sufficient oxygen is not available for combustion as oxygen comes from air it may be due to insufficient supply of air carbon monoxide is toxic and harmful to human health oxygen in sufficient amount during combustion leads to formation of carbon dioxide though harmless it causes greenhouse effect greenhouse effect is responsible for global warming global warming causes increase in temperature of whole planet it causes melting of ice at poles this may result in rise in sea level it may be of immediate danger to existence of coastal areas throughout world oxides of nitrogen nox these are formed due to combination of nitrogen and oxygen at high temperature small x in formula represents proportion of oxygen mainly nitrogen monoxide no is formed it is highly toxic and causes formation of ozone and smog smog is combination of smoke and fog its formation has become a common yearly routine in north and northwest india in the months of october and november particulate material particulate material may accompany emission its composition includes carbon element mainly these are classified as pm 2.5 and pm 2.5 to 10 pm 2.5 is a particulate material with a diameter less than 2.5 micromillimeters pm 2.5 to 10 contains particulate material of a diameter between 2.5 and 10 micromillimeters if present in air both may enter respiratory system of human beings and cause trouble contain air pollution due to vehicles a number of measures are adopted these include modification in engine design making lead free petrol and implementing strict emission standards introduction of catalytic converter was another measure it converts monoxides into dioxides first let me discuss emission standards euro standards of vehicle emission were introduced in 1992 these were called 
यूरो वन स्टैंडर्ड्स दीज स्पेसिफाइड अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन मोनोक्साइड अनबर्ट हाइड्रोकार्बन प्लस एनो एक्स एंड पार्टिकुलेट मटीरियल इन एमिशन दीज वर मेंट फॉर ऑल वहीकल्स लेटर मोर स्ट्रिक्ट रेगुलेशंस वर इम्प्लीमेंटेड थ्रू यूरो टू यूरो थ्री यूरो फोर एंड सो ऑन यूरो सिक्स आर करेंट यूरोपियन एमिशन स्टैंडर्ड्स दीज आर एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल कार्स सिंस सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन यूरो सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड्स आर डिफरेंट फॉर पेट्रोल एंड डीजल एंजिन्स इट इज बिकॉज डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ पॉल्यूटेंट्स प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई दैम लिमिट फॉर एमिशन ऑफ एन ओ एक्स हैज बीन फिक्स एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स ग्राम पर किलोमीटर फॉर पेट्रोल एंजिन एंड जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट ग्राम पर किलोमीटर फॉर डीजल एंजिन सिमिलरली लिमिट फॉर सी ओ हैज बीन फिक्स एज वन ग्राम पर किलोमीटर फॉर पेट्रोल एंजिन एंड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स पर किलोमीटर फॉर डीजल एंजिन लिमिट ऑफ पार्टिकुलेट मटीरियल हैज बीन फिक्स एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव ग्राम्स पर किलोमीटर फॉर पेट्रोल एंड डीजल इंजिन बोथ इन इंडिया इक्विवेलेंट भारत स्टेज सिक्स और बी एस सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड्स हैव बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड सिंस अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी यूरो सेवन स्टैंडर्ड्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन इज अदर मैथड टू प्रोड्यूस क्लीन एमिशन फ्राम वहीकल्स इट इज अचीव थ्रू कैटेलिटिक कन्वर्टर catalytic converter it has a chamber that performs oxidation and reduction processes as already mentioned it is a part of exhaust pipe exhaust enters from engine side and goes out from other side different converters are used for petrol and diesel engine converter for petrol engine can be two way converter or three way converter converter for diesel engine is a two way converter converter for petrol engine as already mentioned it can be two way or three way converter two way converter performs process of oxidation only it converts carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide hydrocarbons in the form of unburnt fuel are converted into carbon dioxide and water three way converters perform process of reduction also in addition to oxidation oxides of nitrogen nox are converted into nitrogen and oxygen referring to diagram exhaust enters from left side this is engine side exhaust gases consisting of hydrocarbons hc carbon monoxide co oxides of nitrogen nox and oxygen enter middle portion of converter contains catalysts as it is a three way converter it has reduction and oxidation catalysts both gases pass through ceramic honeycomb structure h shown in gray color within housing walls of structure are lined with catalyst made from platinum or rhodium or palladium these perform processes of reduction and oxidation process of reduction involves removal of oxygen from oxides of nitrogen nox and these are converted into nitrogen and oxygen gases that are harmless process of oxidation involves addition of oxygen carbon monoxide is converted 
into carbon dioxide that is not so harmful for human beings these gases go out to atmosphere as shown on right hand side some vehicles may be equipped with oxygen sensor in converter it determines oxygen present in exhaust gases and conveys it to electronic control unit or ecu deficiency of oxygen if sensed is compensated for proper oxidation of gases converter for diesel engine as already mentioned it is a two way converter its main components are diesel oxidation catalyst diesel exhaust fluid injector selective catalytic reducer and diesel particulate filter referring to diagram exhaust gases enter from left hand side these pass through diesel oxidation catalyst do shown in gray color it converts carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide it also breaks down hydrocarbons present as unburnt fuel it has honeycomb structure walls of structure are lined with platinum or palladium next component is selective catalytic reducer s shown in orange color it carries reduction of oxides of nitrogen nox these are converted into nitrogen and oxygen as already mentioned diesel exhaust has high contents of oxygen therefore rhodium is not required it has an injector i shown on upper left side which injects fluid made up of ammonia or urea to burn excess ammonia a section of selective catalytic reducer is provided with ammonia slip catalyst a shown in black color it has small amount of platinum alternatively oxides of nitrogen nox can be reduced by exhaust gas recirculation it eliminates selective catalytic reducer and injector diesel particulate filter dp in blue color comes next as shown on right hand side diesel engines produce particulate or soot this filter has a monolith with alternate open and closed channels these hold particulates and break them through a process known as regeneration regeneration process is similar to oxidation process there is a small amount of platinum and palladium present in filter these facilitate process of regeneration filter is heated to a high temperature this causes burning of soot this makes passing of soot through filter easy electronic control unit or ecu controls process of regeneration emission of fuel vapors may occur from fuel tank and cause air pollution it is controlled through a charcoal filled canister fuel vapors are trapped in charcoal these are sent back to engine through a purge valve and are burnt in this way through charcoal canister pollution to air due to fuel vapors is prevented i conclude here with this discussion on topics related with automobile engineering also concludes as mentioned air pollution due to vehicles is a matter of concern another fact is that conventional sources of energy such as fossil fuels have limited availability it has made us realize to reduce our dependency on them this has brought forward concept of electric vehicles or evs initially hybrid cars and other hybrid vehicles 
were developed. These had conventional internal combustion engine and an electric motor. This motor was run by a battery. Now efforts are being made to develop vehicles that run with electric motor and consume electricity only. Therefore the name electric vehicles or EVs. These efforts have been successful and electric cars are reality today. These vehicles use chargeable batteries. As is known, these batteries require regular recharging. For this, charging facilities at different locations are to be developed. Alternatively, a discharged battery may be swapped with a charged battery. For this, swapping stations are to be developed. Use of electric vehicles is increasing at a fast pace. This makes them relevant in the study of automobile engineering. I would be talking about hybrid and electric vehicles in coming lectures of about automobile engineering. That's all for present. Thanks for watching.